going on everybody the germ here next stop disney springs formerly downtown disney and of course i'm joined here with the wonderful beautiful fabulous jenna i love this transportation system we uh just hopped on here and now we're going to disney springs pretty cool we're gonna work with you. see i got all nice and dressed up jenna's dressed up she looks beautiful has a beautiful dress on her on her i'm sure you guys will see later in the video how beautiful she looks and she obviously compliments a lot so we're gonna go out to dinner where are we going tonight i forgot where we're going where are we going uh, paddlefish we're gonna go check out this is gonna be our one fancy night we're gonna go to paddlefish and it's like a uh, seafood restaurant so we're gonna go check that out we're gonna go check out downtown disney or disney springs whatever you want to call it i'm calling downtown disney i'm making up my own name for everything about in our last episode so that's pretty cool i found out a little bit more about the uh minivan what an absolutely clever length name it's run by um run right by disney for lyft and uh that's the preferred partner and it's actually pretty cool very cool thing very cool name it'll bring you anywhere in disney that you want to but instead of riding the public transportation for your own private transportation you take the minivan well we made it here to disney springs it's beautiful here Oh, I'm so hungry. I haven't been here in years, and I'll tell you what, looks like a huge transformation here. Doesn't look like anything that I've seen before, even though I know I've been here before. Totally redesigned it. A lot of normal stores here, like Origins, Mac, Coach, Lacante over there, and support. I don't know, not the kind of thing I would expect being here. I mean, if I was going to a mall, I expect more unique stores, local things, uh, more Disney creative. You know, if I wanted to go to a store like that, I would just go to the mall. I ordered this uh, thing here, fuel rod, a couple weeks ago, right before we posted the Disney video. Unfortunately, I didn't get it in time. I got it just about a day later. So, um, if you order this online before you come, you can actually save five bucks instead of paying thirty here at Disney. It costs twenty-five. What it does is it actually charges your cell phone. The cool thing is, every Disney park, including Disney Springs, you can scan this and exchange it for a freshly charged fuel rod and charge your phone right up. So we're gonna exchange this today when we find one, and uh, I think I know where it is. The water. There's our restaurant right there. What's what's the restaurant called? The the paddle boat. Paddlefish. Paddlefish. Paddle that one right there. Oh my God, are we gonna sail away? I know we're going on a cruise. Like an old cow boat that used to be. stays there. It's a big restaurant there. Oh my god. You guys probably think I'm crazy, but I got a long sleeve shirt on. Jenna thought I was nuts. And I also have a uh, pair of pants on. But you know what? I'm from Miami, bitch. Originally, I'm from Miami. So I'm used to this hot weather, the nitty. Don't bother me. I'm good for it. All right, we're going out to dinner. Mmm, look at that. That looks good. Gotta grab one of these. This is an old germ family tradition. Well, we're just waiting here for a table for a little bit. Got a question for you guys. People used to tell me I look pitbull, like pitbull. What do you guys think? Do I look anything like pitbull? I don't know. You guys tell me. Uh, so All right, paddle boat. Very good That'd restaurant. Thank you. Very good restaurant. Had the linguine and clams. Very expensive restaurant. Jenna had the crabs, which she can't fit. She couldn't finish, so I had some of those crabs. I don't know why I ate them. I'm allergic to shellfish. I don't know what this is. It looks like some kind of restaurant or something. T-Rex. They got a pretty cool looking T-Rex skeleton right out front. Looks like looks like Jurassic Park. That guy back there, he was trying to feed his small child T-Rex. Wasn't successful. The place looks kind of like a miniature golf course. <laughs> it's not, it's a restaurant. But definitely looks like a major golf course. Wow, look at this. It's one of my favorite things in the world. I mean, my second favorite thing in the world. There's my two favorite things in the same video. Crazy. Wow, look at that. There's the race car from Toy Story. And Buzz Lightyear and Woody up there. This is a Lego store, man. This thing is big. And there is a lot of people in here. Jenna, can we get some Legos? All right, you guys heard it. Send me Legos, I'll send you money. I can't buy them, but you guys can buy them for me and then 
I'm just giving you guys puns because I'm not technically buying them. Jenna and I actually built that Lego set. Awesome Lego set. Love that diner. I also have built this thing, one of the more difficult Lego sets I've ever built in my life. I really would like to have this and also the roller coaster. Check this out down here. They also have a Disney castle. You want to know how much a Disney castle is? A whopping $349. That's why I don't have a Disney castle. This is one of the newer sets. This is a roller coaster. That thing's pretty cool. Look, mugs with people's name on it. I wonder if they have a mug that says the germ. Let's look under G. very simple let me show you guys I only had a few minutes like I said so this is what I was able to build hope you guys like it um, I don't think it's a big deal but this guy seems to like it and he's posing with it so cool look at this awesome mosaic that thing's pretty cool I bet you they're all glued together Do they glue them all together yeah they use the craggle uh, look at this guy right here just chilling out in the water Look at that, he's all made out of Legos. That is awesome. Look at this place, World of Disney. It's the world's largest Disney store. I'll tell you what, they were not kidding. The world's largest Disney store. It's got everything that you could imagine, Mickey Mouse. Should I do it? Rose. Those YouTube channels that suckered in. Look what you got. What'd you get, Jenna? You got suckered in. Look at it. She's got it. She's got it. Oh my god. And these things over here. These things are taunting me. They're so good. I'm trying not to eat them. $4.99, that's ridiculous. Bella got a pair of ears also. Let's see. Ow, they scratch. They're very scratchy. What do you guys think? These are my ears. No, these are Bella's ears. I'm a Sorry. <laughs> oh look, a fruit store. Let's go get some fresh fruit. Oh, they, they look like fruit from far away. What is this? Bath bombs. Bath bombs? Oh. <laughs> it smells like the uh, laundry church now at Walmart. So apparently uh, Stitch is shooting water on people. All the kids are waiting down here, trying to get wet. This is the Disney photo pass. We haven't done any Disney photos yet, but we're gonna go in here because I heard something specials in here, and that is the Disney portable fuel rod station exchange. So we got our fuel rod that we ordered, and uh, we're gonna try this out for the first time. We get to exchange it. So I have no idea how I'm gonna do this, but. Let's give it a try. 30 bucks, all right, we already have ours, so we're not gonna buy one, we're gonna swap it. All right, insert empty fuel rod. All right, this is where we're gonna put it. Let's see what happens. I don't know where it comes out, maybe. Well, there it is, right back over there. All right, so this is the uh, fully charged, supposedly, no, it's not. fuel rod. Oh, no it's not, it got rejected. All right, let's try it again. 
Oh, and there it is. We got a new charged fuel rod. Pretty cool. All right, well, now you guys know where the fuel rod station is if you guys want to use it. My battery was at 79%. I know my fuel rod was, uh, uh, had no charge left in it. So let's give it a try. Let's see if it works. Okay, yeah, there it is. It's at 79%. It is charging, so that's good. And uh, in a few minutes, we'll probably be at uh, 100. I forget what those are called. They, they're not connects, are they? What are they called? Tanker toys. That's what they are. Look at this. Once upon a toy. Love the Lincoln Logs. Let's go inside. Mr. Potato Head outside to greet us, along with Buzz Lightyear right there. It's kind of like the rest of the Disney stores. Same, same kind of things. But they got this cool thing up top. And they're actually moving. There's a little piece from Sorry. Some dice up here. Woody's up there on the ceiling. So kind of cool to check out. And they have all these uh, displays here with all the fake board games and stuff like that. Bella just noticed up here. Look, there's a Lego. I love Legos. Legos are the best. Look at these over here. This is pretty cool. I want this. It's the monorail set. I love the monorail. How much is the monorail? Oh my God. $94.99. I actually don't think that's horrible. That is pretty cool. They got the uh, blue train there and they actually have the orange train as well. Just under 100 bucks. Not a bad deal. It's not like you can buy it at Toys R Us. Toys R Us is closed, so cool little toy store. Probably going to do a lot better in the future now that there's no toy store to buy toys at anymore. Bella wanted to check out this store over here. It's called Bippity Boppity Boo. I mean Bippity Boppity Bo Boutique. I can't even say it. Bippity Boppity Boutique. And what they do in here is they dress kids up to be a princess, or I should say little girls to be a princess. They do their hair, their makeup, they even sell dresses. Unfortunately, they're closed. We'll have to go back and check out the boutique at one of the parks. It is later. It's not like it's morning time. That's probably something that takes a while and you want it to last the whole day. So uh, we're gonna have to come back and check that out maybe during the day. This is an awesome little area for the kids. You just got some water and some music, some cool things. Certainly high enough for it. I'm sure those kids are enjoying it. You see what Jenna noticed. Jenna, what'd you notice? There's a store called Lefty. Lefty. You know what this the is? Left-hand store. I got this. This is what's left of the Leftorium from the Springfield Mole in the Simpsons episode. Remember that episode with the uh, left-hand uh, store? Everything was all Lefty stuff. He didn't do too good. I would like to know below in the comments whether you guys are Lefties or Righties. I guarantee you there are more Righties. Don't lie. Don't lie. And who is, I can't say the word, so Jenna's gonna help me out. Yeah, that, that word. Who, who can write with both hands? They said a lot of, look up, look up history uh, for US presidents, and it's crazy how many US presidents can write with both hands. It's insane. Here we are at Goofy's Candy Company. Let's go inside this store. It looks like a good one. Oh, this looks good. I love candy. Who doesn't love candy? I guess a diabetic would love candy. Look, I told you guys, they're following me around. My God, I'm gonna have to buy one. Oh my God, the mother load. Oh my God, I'm gonna have a sweet tooth attack. Look at these Rice Krispie Cheats. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Now these are probably the best value I've seen yet. 50 bucks, that's a lot of money, listen, no doubt. But $50 for that whole entire thing? It's $5.99 just for a small one. I tried to make a deal with the guy back there and, you know, figured me and some stranger would share this thing. And we could just stick this thing on a broom handle and then just share it and walk around. It'd be perfect. He didn't want to do it. He wasn't going for it, though. Okay, I made it out of the candy store somehow without any candy. I have no idea how, but no candy for me. Bella got something. This store is the Art of Disney. Let's see what's inside this store. Oh, we're, they're waving, but they're waving the wrong way. You gotta wave this way. There we go. The Haunted Mansion. A lot of people like this. The Haunted Mansion stuff. You know, they actually have like a secret code and they actually evacuate the Haunted Mansion. A lot of people leave human remains there, like ashes. And they actually have a special hazmat team for Disney that actually has to clean them up. That's actually illegal, but people do that. It's kind of gross. They got a bunch of art here. But this one down here, is my favorite. Mickey and Minnie at the drive-in. 
Anyone know why? Exactly. Look what they're doing. They got slushy samples in the art store. Last thing you would think they would have here. Yeah. Cheers, guys. No air conditioner in here. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. I'll cheer Good. with you. Oh, we're going to cheer Cheers. together. We gotta get in there together. Let's do it. Salud. Salud. Cheers. You need that being in here. It's, it's hot. <laughs> okay, we had to get out of that store. There's no air conditioner at all in there. That's why they were giving up the free slushy samples. But cool store. I definitely recommend checking out the art of Disney. Very, very cool. We're now in front of the Rainforest Cafe where they have a real live crocodile. And he is angry. Someone told me to look out for crocodiles and alligators here at Disney. All right, it's getting dark. So little to do and so much time. We have to move on. Let's keep going. Got one more thing that I think I got to show you guys. Maybe, maybe two. Look at the theme in here at Rainforest Cafe. To the map, we are looking for the Coca-Cola store, which is actually labeled on here. No. It actually says Coca-Cola store on the store. Right here. So yeah, see that? We just came we out of Lego. Lego is over there. So we don't even have to ride. So the we have to go back like where we came in. Awesome. So we have to go that way. Alright, we used the map. I also asked for directions just in case. And it turns out it's a big building that says Coca-Cola on the side. So Jenna wanted me to show you guys how beautiful it is here at nighttime. Not as beautiful as you though. Look at that, you match all the beautiful trees. Look, I found it, the Coca-Cola store. This is the store I really wanted to go in. I am a big Coca-Cola fan. This is the store I want to go in. Let's go inside, let's go check it out. This looks so cool. I know I'm gonna buy something in here. Oh wow, look at this store, looks awesome already. I want to buy everything, including whatever this is. I want this, and I want to buy this, and I want to have this in my house, and I need this coffee mug. Oh, and I need this, this oven mitt, too. I actually do need oven mitts. Look at this cool thing. We can make our own custom t-shirt. Uh, customize the text. And we can share a Coke with the germ. What do you guys think? You guys like that? The grand reveal. There it is. Listen, if you see me wearing this shirt, you have to buy me a Coke. It says share a Coke with the germ. I hear that there's a polar bear inside the Coca-Cola store on the second floor. And there is a Coke bar upstairs on the third floor on the rooftop. I always like to include somebody. This is Miranda. Miranda, where are you from? I'm from Florida. She's, oh, you're from Florida. You're local. Yeah. So, uh, you're gonna check out the germ on YouTube? Yes. Awesome. All right, here's the second floor. There should be polar bear in here. Oh, boy. Now I'm in trouble. I already bought three bottles. I'm a bottle collector, so I feel like I collect a lot of things. This is going to get me in big trouble. Look at all these bottles. Look at all the wraps they have. Oh, my God. Look, they got. They even got something for Camo Dave. It's his next strike. There you go, Camo Dave. Your next strike, buddy. Look at all the Coca-Cola merchandise in here. Lots and lots of Coca-Cola merchandise. Look, there he is, the Coca-Cola folder. Check out the ground though, this is pretty awesome. <laughs> Swimming across the floor. We're going to the last and final floor here at the Coke store. But this is what I came to check out. They got a couple of these Coke freestyle machines back here. Have you guys seen these yet? There's like 200 flavors of soda in there. The stuff they, got, they got some weird stuff. They got Coca-Cola cake, four bucks. Look at all the flavors they have. Of course they got Coca-Cola, Coke Zero, Vanilla Coke, Coke Zero, and look what they got on tap. I've never seen this on tap. Surge. We did get a fountain drink, so we're gonna try out these uh, Coke Freestyle machines. These things are pretty cool. We have these back home. I've seen one at a Burger King, so we're gonna give them a try. We're gonna start out by picking a drink here. Here's some of the drinks they have. These are just the caffeine-free ones. Which one are you looking for? Um, I'd rather have Fanta. I would try High C. I think that would be a good one. Okay, okay we got High C. And then you got all these flavors. You got uh, orange vanilla, orange raspberry lime, fruit punch, strawberry, grape, raspberry, or cherry. There we go. 
There it is. Yum yum. Alright, look at this. We got a huge, huge Coca Cola. This is a, uh, this is a Mexican Coke. And I'm uh, gonna get some kind of freeze because it's really hot. Cheers. I needed that. Alright, this is Delaney and John. They got something pretty cool. I wanted to try this, but I just don't have the appetite for it. What is this thing? It's a tray sampler of different Cokes from around the world. Ooh, have you guys tried any of them yet? A few of them. This one's from Italy. Italy. It's, it's disgusting. Awful. Oh, the Beverly. The yeah. Beverly's, it's bad. Do me a favor. Who wants to dare? I, I want to see you guys try the Beverly. Who will try the Beverly? He's going to do it. I've tried this before. Do it. It's delicious. Oh, my man. John, what did you just do? I don't even think that touched his tongue. Yeah. That was awful. So that's pretty cool. How many flavors did you get? Oh, uh, no, 16. 16. 16 flavors. Well, you guys enjoy. Thank and uh, good luck, man. I, that was that was very brave of you to drink that Beverly like that. <laughs> you guys mixed them all together? Yeah, we did a little bit of each of them. Oh, man. I used to, I used to do this as a kid. Tell me it doesn't have Beverly in it, though. No. Oh, no. All right. Try that. Uh, how is it? It's really sweet. That's like a bunch of people spitting in the cup and then drinking it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for hanging out with me, Jenna, and Bella today here at Disney Springs or Downtown Disney, whatever you guys want to call it. Had a lot of fun checking all the cool stuff out. Please like, share, and subscribe to the video. Uh, love you guys. Thanks for watching. If you guys want to mail me something cool or send a donation, I'll send you back a uh, germ sticker. Then donation for a germ sticker is $5. All donations go to 100% a good cause. The P.O. Box is in the description below. And it's P.O. Box 818, Light Park, New York, 1253. Thanks for watching the germ, guys.